So what is 20 degrees Celsius in degrees Fahrenheit? Well, I'm going to show you how you can solve problems just like this in your head in five seconds or less. So you're presented with a Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion problem like 20 degrees Celsius is what in Fahrenheit? 59 degrees Fahrenheit, 29 degrees Fahrenheit, 43 degrees Fahrenheit, or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And for some reason you just can't Google the answer, probably because you're taking a test or something. So to solve this, you could memorize the equation and then use a scratch sheet of paper to try to do the math. But I'm going to show you how you can estimate the answer using math that you can do in your head. So first, let's take a look at the equation to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. F, or Fahrenheit, equals 9 fifths C, or Celsius, plus 32. So using this equation, we can plug in 20 degrees for C and do the math. F equals 9 fifths times 20 plus 32. 9 times 20 is 180. 180 divided by 5 is 36. And 36 plus 32 is 68. And that gives us the correct answer. As long as we, one, memorize that equation, and two, accurately do all the math. So let's tackle the accurately doing the math part first, and we'll do that by simplifying the equation just a little bit. Now, 9 fifths is almost 2. So we can swap out 9 fifths for 2, and we get F equals 2C plus 32. And 32 is almost 30, so we can swap out 30 for 32, and we get F equals 2C plus 30. And with this equation, the math is a whole lot easier to do in your head. So let's try it out. So first we'll plug in 20 degrees for C, just like we did before. 2 times 20, that's easy, that's 40. And 40 plus 30, well that's easy, that's 70. So 70 is our estimate. And 70 is really close to 68, which is the actual answer. Well, that's kind of cool. We just estimated the answer doing some simple math in our head. But that's only half the battle. We still have to know what to multiply and what to add and in what order. Sure, this equation tells us what order to do things in, but we still have to memorize the equation. Well, let's see if we can eliminate that part as well. Let's start with something we all know. The first six letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F. And look here, we have a C and we have an F. And to get from C to F, we have to go through D and E. So what do D and E stand for? Well, the letter D could stand for double or divide, and it all depends on which way we're going. So in this case, we're going from C to F. That means we're going up the letter scale, we're going up the letter sequence, and that means every step that we take, we're going to try to increase the number because we're going up the sequence, we're going to increase our number. So double or divide, which one's going to increase our number? Well, doubling the number is going to increase the number, so we're going to double. In this case, we're going to double 20, and we're going to end up with 40. Now next we have the letter E. Now this one takes a little stretch of the imagination, but if we flip the letter E, it kind of looks like the number 3 and 3 should remind you of 30. Now, if you don't like flipping the letter E, just count the number of horizontal lines that are in the letter E. There's three of them. And again, 3 should remind you of 30. Okay, so we know that there's a 30 involved. But do we add it, or do we subtract it? Well, again, we're going from C to F. We're going up the sequence. So we're going to increase the number, which means we're going to add that 30. 40, 50, 60, 70. And 70 is really close to 68. Okay, that kind of works. But what if the question was going the other way? What if we were given 68 degrees Fahrenheit and we had to try to figure out what that was in Celsius? Well, we can do exactly the same thing. We start off with A, B, C, D, E, F. But in this case, we're going from F to C. We're going down the sequence. We're going down the letter scale, which means everything that we're going to do 
is going to make the number smaller. So when we're going down the scale, we're starting at F. The first thing we come to is E, which reminds us of 3, which is 30. Okay. What are we going to do? We're going to add or subtract it. We're going to subtract 30. So we got 68, 58, 48, 38. We come to 38. Now the next letter we come to is a D. Is that going to double or divide? Well, we're going to divide. 38 divided by 2 is 19. And that's really close to 20, which is the correct answer. So that's cool. It seems to work going both ways, both up and down the letter scale. But let's see if it really works out with other problems. Take a look at these. 40 degrees C is what in Fahrenheit? Well, 40, again, we're going from C to F. We're going up the letter scale. So the next letter is D, or we're going to divide or double. Well, because we're going up, we're going to double. So 40 doubled is 80. Then we come to an E, which reminds us is 3 is 30. Are we going to add or subtract it? Well, we're going up the letter scale, so we're going to add it. So 80 plus 30, 90, 100, 110. And 110 is pretty close to 104, which is clearly the best answer in this list. So let's try another one. 32 degrees C in how many degrees Fahrenheit? Well, we're going from C to F. So we're going up the scale. We're going to increase all of our numbers. So 32 D double means 64. E, that's our 30. We're going to add it because we're going up the scale. So we're going to add 30. 74, 84, 94. 94 is our estimate. 90 degrees is pretty close, and that's clearly the best answer given. All right, so that's cool. It works going up the scale. But let's see if it works again going down the scale. Here's a problem, 55 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius. Well, 55 is our Fahrenheit, that's our F. So we're going down the scale. The next thing we come to is an E, and that reminds us of three, which is 30. We're going down the scale, so we're going to subtract that 30. 55, 45, 35, 25. Now the next letter we come to is D. We're gonna double or divide. We're going down the scale, so we're going to divide in half. Half of 25 is 12 and a half, which is pretty close to 13, which is the best answer in our list. So let's try one more. 78 degrees Fahrenheit in degrees Celsius. Well, we're going to start off by making the numbers a little easier to use. We can round 78 to 80. That makes it a nice round number. So let's use 80 as our F. So we're going to go from F down the scale to E. E reminds us of 3, which is 30. And because we're going down the scale, we're going to subtract 30. So 80 minus 30, 70, 60, 50. Okay, so we're at 50. Then we come to a D. Do a double or divide. We're going down the scale, so we're going to divide. 50 divided by 2 is 25. And what are our answers? 26 is really close. And in fact, that's the right answer. So there you go. Using a, B, C, D, E, F, and just remembering the sequence, you can easily estimate Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now, to really let this sink in, I want you to find a few problems on the internet like this. I want you to try some tomorrow, do two or three in your head, and then later this week, do two or three more using this same system, A, B, C, D, E, F. And if you do that two or three times this week, then it's going to stick in your head and you're going to be able to remember it for the rest of your life.